This is either going to be like the stupidest thing I've ever said or it's going to be like brilliant and revolutionary. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Happy New Year. We are getting a little late into January to be using Happy New Year as a salutation, but I'm pretty sure I did the same thing in my video from last January so you know I'm at least consistent in one aspect of my YouTube career. I hope you guys have all been well. I am working on a really exciting video about getting organized for the new year, resetting your space and actually like planning out the process of that because at least for me with my ADHD brain and my high hopes that I always have when I start a cleaning and decluttering project it always becomes really overwhelming and a lot more work than it needs to be and this process of planning my cleaning projects out has been really helpful and I'm excited to share that with you but of course because organization does not come naturally to me it's taking me forever to organize my thoughts in a video. While I suffer through the editing process of that video I wanted to share something that I've been thinking about for a while and it's going to really help people who are struggling with figuring out their design type and curating a space over time that looks cohesive. Okay so let's start. Interior design types, right? We all know them. You've got your, you know, Scandinavian, you've got traditional, transitional, eclectic, mid-century modern. All of, I'm not going to list them all. We all know. And I think they're a really great starting point when you're thinking about what you want your space to look like, like generally. If you know that you are a fan of like mid-century modern furniture or like a little bit of jazz and glam in terms of like Hollywood Regency finishes, that's a really great way to start thinking about what you want your space to look like and it's a great way to know what to add to your space when you're buying things over time. But I also think that for some people if you aren't really sure of what your design type is or if you are kind of a mix of several types, looking at your home specifically in terms of wanting it to look like one specific design type can be a little bit limiting and maybe this is just me with my like affinity for like eclectic design in general but I feel like the best styled spaces don't look exclusively like one thing okay stick with me this is either gonna be like the stupidest thing I've ever said or it's gonna be like brilliant and revolutionary instead of thinking about your home in terms of trying to make it look like a type of design style you only need to consider two things two things are you a brown leather sofa person or are you a pink velvet sofa person that's it one those two things diametrically opposed right when I said brown leather sofa and pink velvet sofa you probably had like an idea in your head about those two items those two homes that those two items would be in and they're kind of like on the opposite ends of the spectrum and this doesn't mean that you have to have a brown leather sofa or a pink velvet sofa in your house, right? This is more about the vibes of those two items and the two types of homes that they would look well in. A brown leather sofa home is a very different home than a pink velvet sofa home. The accessories and the accoutrement and the decor and just like the vibes in a brown leather sofa home are gonna be very different than a pink velvet sofa home. So let's get into like specifics. What what does it mean to be a brown leather sofa home versus a pink velvet sofa home? In general, when I think about the two, on the brown leather sofa side, it's more like masculine vibes. It's more minimalist. Whereas on the pink velvet sofa side, it's more feminine. It's more maximalist. A brown leather sofa home is more utilitarian and functional, whereas a pink velvet sofa home is more decorative. There's gonna be more earth tones in a brown leather sofa home and more jewel tones in a pink velvet sofa home. In terms of decor and art, in a brown leather sofa home, I'm thinking maybe a landscape print or a large black and white abstract. Whereas in a pink velvet sofa home, I'm thinking pop art. In a brown leather sofa bedroom, I'm thinking layered linens on the bed, functional blanket, reasonable number of pillows whereas the pink velvet sofa home i'm thinking extra fluffy duvet on the bed lots of pillows different textures for the pillowcases and even though looking at your home in terms of pink velvet sofa versus brown leather sofa is supposed to simplify looking at your space versus 
considering design styles, there's definitely a comparison to be made. Brown leather sofa homes, I'm thinking more Scandinavian, wabi-sabi, mid-century modern definitely, industrial, farmhouse, urban. A pink velvet sofa house is gonna be more, you know, eclectic, art deco, shabby chic, Hollywood Regency, Grand Millennial. Remember when everybody was like Grand Millennial in 2021 and like putting wallpaper on all of their surfaces? Let's bring that back, I miss that. I miss that, like that extra touch of maximalism that the Grand Millennials brought in. I love it. Bring out the wallpaper and the teacups. <laughs> now because I'm looking at this like a spectrum of style, it's not a hard and fast rule. Like there's definitely interior design styles that would fit both brown leather sofa people and the pink velvet sofa people like you could be boho and kind of more into that like neutral rattan and wicker vibe of boho and you definitely fall more on the brown leather sofa camp but if you're more boho in terms of like eclectic and worldly decor and lots of colors and textiles you would be more of the pink velvet sofa sort of boho there are homes that can be kind of like one or the other if you squint your eye and like look at it this way and look at it this way. There's definitely furniture and decor items that can fit into a brown leather sofa home or a pink velvet sofa home. But again, we're thinking about like the vibes in general. What does this kind of more feel like? Does this feel like it's gonna be a thing that's inside a home that has a giant brown leather sofa in the living room? Or does it feel like it's gonna be a thing that fits in well when it's inside a living room sitting next to a giant pink velvet sofa. They're two different vibes. And you know it when you see it, you know it when you feel it, and when you understand where you fall like on that spectrum, it's really easy to style around to add different pieces of furniture into your home, even if, like I said, you don't specifically have a giant brown leather sofa or a pink velvet sofa in your home. I do think I'm gonna be more brown leather sofa people in the world, just because I think the more popular design styles kind of lean toward a neutral aesthetic, a more minimalist aesthetic, wood tones, black browns, and beiges. I feel like that is more popular, like at least when I'm looking online or like when I go to people's houses versus people that come into my house. Like I am a pink velvet, a pink velvet sofa girl, in case you couldn't tell. If I put a pink velvet sofa in this room, I think it would fit in a little bit better than if I put any sort of brown leather sofa. When I look at spaces now, especially when I'm scrolling through Instagram or flipping through a magazine, I don't even think about interior design styles. I'm, I'm only looking at a space and going like, oh, this is heavy pink velvet sofa vibes. Like that's really how I look at spaces and it's really, it's been so helpful in terms of like easily finding decor items and like decorative items and rugs and like sconces and stuff for my clients, my few clients who've entrusted me with helping them help decorate their space, thank you so much. But it's been really helpful for me in like putting people on a scale of like heavy brown leather sofa vibes, heavy pink velvet sofa vibes and adding things to their space based on that versus like trying to box them into a specific interior design type. That's gonna be so much easier for them over time to add to their space because it's kind of more, it's been more like loosely styled and it's not like, I don't know, it's not like coming from one aisle at the store. So I would love to know whether or not you are team brown leather sofa, team pink velvet sofa, what your home looks like, if this is going to be helpful for you in the future in terms of thinking about adding things to your space, please do let me know. And if you found this video useful, please like it. Let the algorithm know. Subscribe if you have not. I make videos about interior styling, small space styling, appliances, plants, art, and all that jazz, and I would love to have you join along. Eventually my organizational video will be out, and that's gonna be super, super helpful. Hopefully it doesn't come out for in time for you to be organizing for 2024. Anyway, hope you guys have been well. Hope your year is off to a great start. I'm looking forward to putting out some fantastic content out this year, so do stay tuned. And until next time, stay safe out there, friends. Bye.